Uh, let's just start straight away with the hardest part of all. The charges that are likely to be brought back, the corruption charges against the president, this is very damaging for the South African economy. Well, it is quite um, concerning. It, it raises the political risks, but you look at it on the, from, from another angle. It affirms the, the, the independence of our courts, the supremacy of the rule of law and the constitution as the supreme law of the land. And um, it, it says that um, South African judges and South African courts are independent enough to take decisions about whomsoever, regardless of their social or political standing. So, in a way, it must raise the confidence of the investors and, the, and those who are interested in South Africa about the country's ability to manage its affairs, no matter how controversial they are. Right. If it, if it raises the confidence in the judiciary, the independence and integrity of judiciary, the question of the integrity of other parts of the South African economy seriously called into question, obviously by the various alleged Gupta scandals, but particularly the Bell Pottinger, the KPMG. Time and again, the stench of what's believed to be bribery and corruption is coming out of the South African economy. It, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because it would be bad if it was swept under the carpet. But, and it, oh, but it, it has been swept under the carpet for a very long time. But it's then coming it was, out. Yeah, it came out because of the hacked emails concerning the Bell Pottinger case. But the good thing is that it's coming out and therefore we, we can be able to know what wrong has happened and we can be able to take action against it. We are expecting that a judicial commission will be established which will deal with all the corruption allegations from whichever angle it emanates and we can then be able as a, as a society and economy to move forward. So are you in favour of a full judicial commission into all aspects of the corruption of, say, Bell Pottinger, KPMG, and the Gupta scandals. A simple uh, yes or no? Yes, I'm full. I'm in full uh, support of uh, a full judicial independent commission. judicial commission. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the African National Congress, as the ruling party itself, has said that it wants such a judicial commission, and we are looking forward to its announcement right. and the terms of reference for the commission. Your economy, sir, is in trouble. Do you agree? The economy is in trouble. It's got positive signs, but it is in trouble. I think the three biggest economies on the African continent are the, are the drawbacks from um, the, the, the buoyancy and, and, and the growth projections of the entire sub-Saharan Africa. So what do you see now as the policies, short of getting rid of the president, which I expect you're not going to support, unless you do, feel, feel free to tell me. But what do you see as the policies that you need to introduce to rebuild confidence in your economy? I think the, 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 the most important thing for us is to implement the structural reforms in the economy in order to drive investments, to boost business confidence, and, and get investments and productivity growing in the economy, in the telecommunications sector, in the mining sector, um, and in the state-owned companies to right. implement the reform, the SOE reform Can programs. that confidence come as long as Jacob Zuma remains president? When you have your predecessor saying it's time for him to go, that's a serious issue. The, the, the fate of the president can and must be decided by the ruling party which he serves. And, and I think that the ANC is well capable of taking that decision. But the so issue is it of time, is it time for the ANC then? Let's, get, let's go straight to this. Is it time for the ANC to, to use the old analogy, to hand him the gun and say, do the honourable thing? The National Executive Committee of the ANC has discussed this matter on, on more than three occasions already. And the National Conf Conference of the ANC is only in December, two months from today. I don't think there is any um, agency for us to preempt what's going to happen in December. He is going to step down anyway as leader of the ANC. And, and so that process must be allowed to run its course. The president on his own is not the single largest or, or is not the sole factor impacting on business confidence. Of course. The issue of corruption allegations, but if the he decisions went, things by the would courts, be a lot better, some would say. Would you agree? Some would say that, but some would say there is a comprehensive package of issues which need to be implemented 
to boost business confidence and get the South African economy going. Because even if you were to step down, without us implementing the structural reforms required, the SOE reforms, reducing right. the government guarantee framework, reducing our contingency, contingent liabilities, the, the economy is still going to underperform. So, Pravin Gordon went and then came back and then he went and then somebody else was appointed and then you were appointed. Do you fear that your appointment has given you the credibility that you need to do the job that you have been tasked to get on with or the way you got to your job calls that into question? I actually don't worry about that because I don't appoint myself. I didn't ap apply for the job. I didn't go for an interview. I was simply called and told that I'm now appointed to this position. My job is to focus single-handedly on the task at hand. That's what I've been doing for the last six months. That's what I'm going to continue doing for as long as I occupy the position. Am I talking to a future president of South Africa? I'm not aware of it at the present moment. Nobody can rule out what will happen in ah, the future. But there we are. That's, now... the, that's the politicians. <laughs> I cannot speak to this. That's the politicians. I, who knows, where it, Mr. Future President. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.